functional group transformations. To move a functional group from one carbon to the next, we need to first do elimination, followed by addition. And we need to pay attention to our regiochemical uh, constraints in each step. For instance, this elimination we just did was Zaitsev. We need a non-bulky base like NaOH, sodium methoxide, or NaOET. But we would not want to use potassium terbutoxide. That would give the Hoffman. Also in our addition product, it's more substituted, that means Markovnikov addition. So we would just use HBr without peroxide. If we use peroxide, that would give us anti-Markovnikov, which would take us back to where we started. Here's a summary. Zaitsev elimination of our original alkyl bromide gives us the more substituted alkene. If we did Hoffman, on the other hand, we'd get the less substituted alkene. If we did anti-Markovnikov hydrobromination of our original product, that would take us back to where we started. If we do Markovnikov hydrobromination, this gives us our new alkyl bromide. So what we've done is we've moved the bromine from a less substituted position to a more substituted position. If we start off with the Hoffman elimination, we get the less substituted alkene, which if we then do the anti-Markovnikov hydrobromination, we get the less substituted alkyl bromide. So, on top, we have gone from a more substituted alkyl bromide to a, sorry, from a less substituted to more substituted on top. On the bottom, we've gone from more substituted to less substituted. It's similar for an alcohol, except that a hydroxyl group is a bad leaving group. So, we have to start by tosylating to make a good leaving group. That's what the tosyl chloride and pyridine is for. Then doing the Hoffman elimination gives us our 2-methyl-2-butene, the more substituted alkene. Acid-catalyzed hydration gives us the more substituted alcohol. Doing hydroboration oxidation of our 2-methyl-2-butene, that's the first step, borane and THF. The second step, hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide, that does anti-Markovnikov hydration, which takes us back to our original substance. To do the Hoffman elimination reaction and end up with 3-methyl-1-butene, that's this, we first have to tosylate to replace the hydroxyl group with tosylate, and you do that by reacting it with tosyl chloride and pyridine. Then you use the bulky base, potassium terbutoxide, and you get the Hoffman elimination. So, now we have 3-methyl-1-butene, and subjecting that 3-methyl-1-butene to first borane and THF does the hydroboration, and second, hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide, that's the oxidation step, and this gives us the less substituted alcohol, or 3-methyl-1-butanol, that is anti-Markovnikov hydration.